Hey y'all! And what I say, I said whenever I'm downstairs, before I even think about going upstairs, I'm gonna do a video. So I just got off of work. Well, I'm just getting home from work. I been got off. Stopped at Wawa. Wawa gave me a free hoagie in my rewards. Now, I either got rewards and got $2 off a hoagie, a free item of something, but nothing like a hoagie. A free hoagie? I was like, it's a shorty hoagie, but I was like, it's free, yes. And it was good. The coupon, well, the reward was good until uh, the 29th of April. Today is April 1st, April Fool's Day. I didn't get anyone with any uh, April Fool's jokes. <laughs> I guess that's just played out. I couldn't think of anything. I wanted to, but I was like, I can't think of anything. It's childish, but I'm childish. But I got my um, all-time fave, honey turkey with uh, extra mayonnaise, American cheese, pepper, black pepper, pickle, spinach, and it's a wheat roll. And I got my mom roast beef, and she wanted, of course, all that stuff that I don't eat, tomatoes, onions, and all that crazy stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's crazy to me. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to adjust the camera because it's just a crazy setup. And it's not really a mukbang. We're going to finish the pet peeve series. This will be the, the last one for now, but I always have pet peeves. And But yeah, I'm always going to have pet peeves, and they're always coming. It's a shame, but a lot of stuff get on my nerves that's i guess it's only child syndrome but a lot of stuff get on my nerves and maybe that's why i'm single because i get irritated fast but we're going to finish the pet peeves um this is the third series i believe yeah this is the third episode so i'm gonna start eating my hoagie and i got a bag of doritos i bought a, a 10 pack of doritos 10 pack box of doritos from walmart it was 5.98 i figured that was good because these are what two for a dollar or like a um dollar as most places so yeah i would just rather get the box instead of getting the the uh family size bag because they go so even it doesn't matter how much i wrap it up they go so fast so oh shoot i know it's been a while that i've been out but not that long for my whole get to be all like that this is how it looks and this is from the regular place around my job. Remember that? Uh, I think the last time I had a, a hoagie was when I got my... Last time I did a video eating a hoagie from Wild Wild was when I uh, got my hair done and got it from around there. And they messed me up. The roll was soggy and all of that. I think that was the last time. But this is going to be good. So I'm going to set up my food. You won't really see the food. You'll see me eating it because it's not really a mukbang. I'm just eating and doing the... Uh, what is it? The Pepe series, and I have in here Crystal Light. No, it's not Crystal Light. It is something, uh, one of those mixed uh, packets that go in the water, but it's not Crystal Light. It is the flavor. Dang, I just threw it away. It's Strawberry Something by Welch's, I believe. And it does not have aspartame, zero sugar, zero everything, no aspartame. I haven't had Crystal Light since i felt out it had aspartame in it well i did have it i had the rest that i still had because i wasn't gonna let that go to waste but i don't buy it anymore i just buy the ones that do not have aspartame i try to stay away from aspartame as much as possible but it's in a lot of sugar-free stuff so you have to be careful so it's not good to have it and it's not good to have a lot of it so if it do have it in some stuff i won't eat a lot of it or drink a lot of it but a lot of those drinks I found they have a, a aspartame in it. A lot of those packet uh, the, for the flavor, I mean, to make the water flavor. What are they called? The drink mix. That's what's called. The drink mix packet. And matter of fact, I have to make another. Um, I'm going to do that on camera, though. I'm going to do a little vlog. A little vlog of me doing the pickles. I'm going to do it with the Jolly Rancher green apple flavor. Anywho, let's start eating. Let me push this up some. Mmm. Mm. I did eat today. I had breakfast. I'm Wawa. <laughs> I'm a Wawa edit now. I had turkey ham, cheese, egg white, cheddar cheese, egg white, one swirl raw, raw bread. It was delicious. That was my first time having that from there. Okay, Pepe. I don't know what number it is, but this is number one on the third 
episode. People that cuss at their kids and put them down. Now, I get somebody saying, when they're mad at their kids, get your little ass over here or something. I know it happened. I'm not really talking about that. I'm talking about the people that, I'm talking about the parents that call their kids bitches in the N-word. That is unacceptable. I hate, 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 hate that. I hate parents that do that. That even when they're talking about them or saying it to them, that just pisses me off. Why would you ever say that to your child? Why? Why? Oh, my parents never did that to me. Never. Never, never. I think my mom only called me a bitch one time as an adult, but she never called me a bitch as a child. Never. Well, my mom never did that Ooh, one time as an adult. And I was shocked. I was like, oh, you never said it to me. I don't know what happened. My mom was, in, my mom was a Gemini, so she must have been one in her moods. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but my aunt, but my aunt, she would call you one in a minute, but she never did it to me. Never, ever, ever. But she was good for calling people that never did it to me. So one time I made a mistake and turned the channel when she was watching something and it was the stories. Woo. She let me have it. Now something like that. It was funny, and I never felt any type of way about it. I just laughed because it was so funny, and we were used to it. And back then, it was different. But when I hear it today, people calling their kids, and it's the people that's really doing it to hurt them. Not someone that's just saying it because they're mad that their kid did something. Even that's not, that doesn't um make it any better, but I'm just saying. It's the people that's really trying to hurt their kids. I hate that. Like, it goes all through me. And working in retail, when I worked in retail, or working in the corporate America and public places, and period. You hear that a lot. And going shopping and stuff, or out in your everyday life, you hear it. And I just get so mad. It pisses me off. Like, some guy was trying to talk to me. He had his son with him. The little boy had to be about two. He kept on calling him the N-word. Lord, and get your butt over here. And you think I want to talk to you? Like, that turned me off. I didn't want He wasn't my type anyway, and I didn't want to talk to him. And he was, even though I do like older men, but he was like older and someone that I wouldn't talk to. But just hear him say that to his son, it just pissed me off. Like I, I instantly, I instantly wanted to cut the conversation short. And he just so happened to live on my block, and I didn't know that. And he was just trying to talk about the neighborhood. I didn't. It, whatever you have to say, sir, it doesn't even matter anymore because that just turned me the hell off. Like you should not talk to your kids like that. And that, granted, I am not a parent. But I do know right from wrong. Now, we do have people that play around and say stuff like that. Not talking to their kids, but talking about them like, let me tell you what this little B did. I don't like that either, but I, that really, like, if you they doing it in like a playful manner, okay. But don't be degrading kid, your kids like that because you never know. That stuff stays with children, trust me. You never know what that would do to them. Like, be mindful, please. Be mindful. I hate that. Y'all know I hate the N-word, period. And then you send it to your child, and then what if he go to school, daycare, and he say, say that word? Like, come on, you wouldn't even care anyway. Because you're just so ignorant. Just, oh, sorry. All right. Next one is because I can be I'll be on this topic forever. Um, by the way, this whole is delicious. And I knew it would be. Um people oh, I cannot stress this enough. People that don't support you and wonder why you haven't supported them. Now and I get I had this a lot. Like I had somebody that um when I, before I even started my business, begged me, begged me, begged me to literally beg me to do it. Yeah, I will support you and all this. 
didn't buy not one thing from me. And that's fine. I gave them all the information when the I was like, remember you said you would support me? Here you go. Never bought anything. As soon as they came out with their business, kept inboxing me. Um, well, I know you like this. Why? I'm not even going to say what it is because people probably know who it is and I'm not even going to do all that. I'm not that messy. But I can be. Why you haven't um got this yet? I know you like this kind of stuff. Why? And I was blunt. Remember when I came out with my business and you, you never supported me? Crickets. Yeah, leave me alone. Like, come on now. Don't, like, that go hand in hand. Okay, if you didn't support me, that's fine. But how dare you come with me, come to me with your, oh, I'm sorry, I'm spitting y'all. How dare you come to me with your business and ask me to support you and you never even gave my business a second look and you the one that wanted me to come out. And that's not why I came out with my business, but of course it was encouraging like, okay, this person will support me. And a lot of people said they would support me. Some people didn't. And the most of the people that said they would, they did. And I'm thankful for those people and the other people, oh hell with you. But don't you dare come to me and ask me to support you and you haven't supported me. No, honey. No, honey. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's call me petty. Because I am. But it's the principle. Mm -mm. I don't care how much I like the item. And something that she do, a lot of people was doing the same thing. And I know a lot of people that do it. Of course, I'm going to go to them first. And they the one they supported me, so I'm gonna go to them first. Like my cousin do this, I know somebody who do this. My friend do this. So, mm -mm. and then after a while, I just end up deleting her. Uh, annoy him. And I don't know if people are delusional or they really don't care, or they just forget what they did. I don't know. I try to make sense of it. People that lie for no reason. I'm telling you, whenever somebody lie, I end up catching them in it. I always end up catching them in it. I always end up catching them in it sooner or later. And I call them out on it every time. And they try to change it up or they'll make up something or make it seem like they never said it. I do it every time. And I like to keep receipts because... People will do that. And I love calling people out on their bullshit. I'm that friend. I will call you out on your bullshit with the quickness. And I would want people to call me out on my bullshit. Call me out on it. Because I'm definitely going to call you out on yours. No need to be lying for no reason. Like, the people that just lie. I mean, there's so many big things that you can lie about. And you're going to lie about dumb stuff. Mm -mm. Whew. Uninvited guests. I hate for people to just show up uninvited or people that you invite them to something and they'll just bring someone without asking you or something that you invited them to and they just ask like can this person come why no like especially if it's like a small gathering and i invited you and i see there's a couple people why do you need the other person to come i'm not enough or you have those people that always have to have somebody come with them like, they can't come by themselves. Like, they need an extra person for some odd reason. I don't know why. But I don't like that. Especially if I didn't. If I just don't like it. I just don't like it. And I don't know if that's. I probably have that other pet peeve in there as well. But that prob that will go hand in hand with when we have events. And as we clearly say no kids. And they bring kids anyway. Like, that is so disrespectful. And I see people doing that a lot at events like weddings and stuff. If I say no kids, and if it's a wedding or something like that, I don't, I'm like the people on uh, Facebook or whoever, y'all getting escorted out. It's a reason why people say certain stuff. Like, we're not saying it to be mean or just not saying it. And it's time and a place for the kids to come. But at this event, it's no kids. Like, you have to respect that. And if you can't come, you just can't come. You just can't come this time. If your uh, child had to come. And that's not to be rude. And... I don't have kids. And if I did have kids and someone said that, I just won't go. There's no kids right now. Okay, I won't go. And I won't feel any type of way. Because it's a time and a place for my child to come. Like, you have to be respectful and you have to respect people's boundaries. Like, just don't do it. So, that go hand in hand with that. All right, y'all. Let me I was going to take the, take the, uh, I was going to put this whole thing in my mouth, but I ain't going to do it. You have some questions? I'm not editing that out of Mm. Next one. 
copycats. Now, it's a difference. It's a difference when someone admire you or they like what you like when I do my hauls and stuff, that's different. And someone go and get what you got or something like that. But don't try to steal my whole existence. Don't try to copy me like to the T, like the way I talk or things I do, my little sayings, my style, like that's just weird to me. Now you now it's getting it's giving very much single black female. It's getting weird. Now it's getting weird. And you got those people that will come out and tell you like, oh, I'm getting that. Oh, I love your style. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, I love the way you say that. Like, I, I'm really known for my personality and my style. People love and thrive off my personality and my style. I've been told all my life. And it's not being cocky. I just have this aura about me that people, and I say this all the time, love my style and my personality. And y'all know that too because y'all say it all the time as well. And I, I love that people admire me and... They like my style, my personality, but the people, and I have people that look up to me, like grown people that's older than me, like I'm a, like, I'm like a role model or mentor to them. And I, that's, that feels so good. That's totally, that's totally fine. It's the people that will copy you and do everything to the T and act like they don't know what the hell you talk about. They act like that is like, they always did this. Would try to steal every, your whole existence. I'm not just talking about for me with anyone that I see. I see it. Like, I see you. Anyone that's doing that around me or it's just like, or if you, or they'll switch up when they get around certain people, like, cause they know they're trying to act like that person or try to be like you. So they'll switch it up. So you could seem wrong. I, if that, if I'm making sense, if I'm not making sense, let me know, but let me know if that makes sense. I hope y'all get it, but I hate those type of people because it's just weird. I feel like you don't have your own personality. Like, you don't know who you are, so you try to, like, get a little bit from each person. Just the same thing. It goes hand-in-hand hand with those people that um, they act like whoever they're around. It's just, it's weird. Like, they, whoever they're around, they just gravitate to their personality. All right, I'm going to get off of it because I could keep going. Um People could, people, oh, I say this all the time. People that complain but continue to do the same stuff. Now, if you can change something, change it. But don't keep on complaining to me. That goes hand in hand with relationships, friends, whatever it is in your life, work, whatever. If you could keep on complaining to me, I'm going to call you out on it. Like, well, why are you, why are you still with them then? And it's, it's probably easy said, it's probably easier said than done. But keep it to yourself. Don't complain to me. And that's why a lot of people don't tell their uh, friends and family about their relationships. Because and then we end up not liking that person. And you get us all mad about that person. But yet you're still hanging with them. you still hanging with them. And you get us all hot and mad at them. And now we hating them. But you still with the person. And it makes us look dumb. Like with friends too. Like you're still hanging with that friend. But yet you're talking about them and doing all this. And you don't like them. You don't want to be around them. But you're still with them. So don't, I don't even want to hear it because now I'm starting to like, I'm starting not to like this person, but it's making me feel dumb because you're still, uh, kiki and laughing with them. And, but in the, on the one side, you're telling me one thing. And on the other side, I see you hanging out with them and it's at, like, everything is fine. And then when I call you out on it, Oh yeah, I know. But no, don't even tell me about it anymore. Cause at this point, mm mm. Uh -uh. I just don't like it. And that goes with relationships and all that. No, I don't mind if my friends or family vent to me about their relationship and they're trying to fix it. And that's okay. You can vent to your friends, but don't keep on doing it because now you're just putting a burden on us. Like, it's just so like, I don't like it at all. And I love for my friends to tell me stuff about their relationships and all that stuff because I'm like a I'm like a therapist. People go to me. I don't have a relationship. I'm I'm not, I'm not in a relationship. I'm single. But people always come to me to their with their relationships and I love it. That's fine. Those people are fine. It's the people that constantly keep one. It's like they keep on doing the same thing and expecting a different result, basically. But yeah, I don't mind helping my friends and giving advice and all that. Don't get it mixed up. 
because I I help my friends all the time and I, um, friends, family, whomever. I help them and let them give good advice. I give great advice once again. Toot, toot, toot. Yes, I'm tooting my own horn because I do. And I love uh, helping people. I love giving my advice when I can. And, you know, but it's the people that will complain about being fed and, oh, I just hate. Like, that, that just, I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. We'll do something about it then. Because it's annoying. Like, when you keep on complaining about something, it just gets on my nerves. Like, one, two, three times. Okay, it's fine. But don't keep on coming to me with the same thing for years. <laughs> now, that's crazy. Months and years. But, yeah. Yeah. For people that's working on it and they still want to talk about it, that's fine. For the people that it's like five years now and you're still complaining about the same thing, girl, go on. Go on. Okay. Next one here. Mm. People keep people that keep on asking me the same question or telling me the same stuff. Oh, that hurts me. And then I'll stop them before they can get keep on going. And I'll say, "Remember you told me that." Or, "Oh, I know. Remember we talked about it last time." Because maybe they, they forget. And those are the people that probably tell that same story to a lot of people. And forget that they already told it. So I'll just cut them off. Not to be rude, but remember you told me that? Or we already talked about that. Then you get the people that say, well, I'm going to talk about it again. That just happened to me. <laughs> and I'm like, well, okay, we'll go right ahead. But it's annoying because we can be talking about so much other stuff. than the same thing. And people that always ask me the same question. Like they didn't know that they asked me that. My cousins do that all the time. And I'm like, remember you already said that. Remember you I don't like that. It's annoying. Now let me know if I do that because I wouldn't want to do that, but I doubt if I do that. Because I have a great memory. And there's no need for me to ask you the same stuff unless you never answered me before. Mm -hmm. Next is um, people that have no respect whatsoever for other people's time. Oh, that's so annoying. Time is precious. My time is precious. That goes to what work. I will. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate people that don't let me know that they're running late. They're going to be late. Oh, it irks my soul because it's so inconsiderate. Like, how dare you <laughs> walk in late and not tell me? And you're the one that's um, relieving me. Like, at least have some kind of consideration. Tell me. Just say, okay, I'm going to be a little late or whatever. However you want to do it. But give me a heads up. The people that uh, ask you to go somewhere or they, they're they going, um, they ask you to go somewhere or you ask them to go somewhere. And right up until the last minute, they just don't show up without telling you or anything. Like, I know things happen, and I've done that plenty of times, but I will definitely let you know, okay, I can't make it, or I feel this way. And I'm not going to force myself to do anything. This just happened with my friend Emily. She had a um, pajama party, and I just didn't I, I didn't feel like going. Like, my body just would not let me go. And all the way up until the event, I was going to go, but that day, I just wasn't feeling like it. Me and my friend Nick was going to go, and we just wasn't feeling it. It was snowing. We just... I, my body just was telling me no, and I just didn't go. Like, I'm not going to force myself to do anything. Now, if it was like a special event, like a birthday, like a milestone or a birthday or something like that, I probably would have forced myself to go. Something like that, yeah. But an uh, event, she was just having a pajama party, just to have a pajama party. And, of course, I wanted to go. I had my pajamas and everything. I was dying to go. But my body was saying no. Like, I listen to my body, and sometimes I don't. But I'm not going to force myself to do anything that I don't want to do. So I told her, like, I didn't want to go. Of course, she was like, oh, you got. And I was like, I'm so sorry, but I just can't, I just can't go. Like, I can't make it. I'm not even going to lie to you. You rather me tell you this, that I'm not going, or not even ex answer your text or tell you anything. So that I'm that type of person. I'm that type of friend. I'm going to let you know I can't make it. Because uh, I, will, I will want you to do that to, for me. I will want you to do the same. And that goes with anything with time. Like, <laughs> you got to let people know stuff. People that stare without saying anything. That irks my soul. Like, people stare at me all the time. And I, I, 
I always say this, and I got people that can vouch for me. My friend Jen, Jen, where you at? Other people too. She's seen it hand in hand, and she was like, "Maybe because it's your, maybe because you're pretty." No, that's not why they're staring at me. Not because I'm pretty. People just stare. I don't know, and it's not even what I have on or what. I get people that stare at me all the time. And I always got this saying since I was younger. It don't matter who I'm with, what I'm doing, where I'm going. It's always us. It's always me. It's always whoever I'm with. Like, stuff happens. Like, I don't, it has to be me because it seems like this stuff doesn't happen with just them. It only happens when I'm around. So, I don't know what it is about me, if I have a familiar face or what. But just crazy things happen and people stare and weird stuff just happen. Or people will just come up to me. I get people that come up to me all the time. And just start talking or just telling me their whole life story. I had this woman on the phone call at work. She tried to tell me her whole life story. Of course, I had to get off the phone because I'm at work. Like, I'm calling you for something to help me with something about the job. And you're telling me your whole life story. you telling me, oh, I keep saying you're. you telling me your whole life story. Like, you know what? And that pisses me off. Not people just telling me their whole life story and stuff. I'm talking about I don't mind it. But sometimes it can be draining. Like, the person, the people that you don't know. But, and then if I had time on my hands, if I wasn't at work, I would love to keep on hearing her story because she had a great story. But, anywho, people that stare without saying anything, I'd rather you say hi. And I'll say hi back. And what I'll do is I'll just smile, like, and then they'll smile and they'll finally say, I don't know if I'm in intimidating or what. Do I, I don't have rest and bitch face or anything. I don't know what it is. But I get it all the time. All the time. Maybe that's why that guy threw that damn can at me. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. Like, what the hell? Um, people that don't speak back or say hi when they... Or people that don't speak back or do you, then you have the people that speak when they want. I hate that. Because you got one time. I might give you another chance. But you got one time for me to say hi. And I can clearly... You can clearly hear me. I make sure that you can hear me. And I clearly say hi. And you don't say anything back to me. My neighbor did that. Like, you got you got one time. Now, I gave her a second, second chance. She's an older lady, but you can't be doing it. Don't do that. Like, because it doesn't hurt to say hi. I was taught when I come in the room, you speak. You say hi. I do that all the time. Like, that's just how I was raised. Like, you speak. It's a, it's, it doesn't hurt to say hi, especially if you know the person. Like, why are you not speaking? Then I have people like that all the time. People that know me and people that are supposed to be close to me. And some people just don't speak to you. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. I'm talking about if we're in a like when we're in a setting. And they come in the room and don't speak. I'm like, well, hi to you. Now with my friends, I can say it like that. Well, hi, next. Of course, they'll say, give me, a, well, give me a chance. No. When you see me hustle, you speak. Okay? But, yeah, that goes hand-in-hand -hand with anyone. It's rude. I can't wait to meet y'all in person because I want to see how y'all act. Because I got to see if y'all, and y'all do any of these things. Because y'all going to make me mad. Come on, fashion dials and guys. I hope y'all not like this. Um... And I always say it all, it all depends on how people are raised. But I got to stop saying that because my friend Nika hate when people say that. Because that that's not an excuse. It's not. So I'm going to stop saying that. But I always think like it, it got to be how they were raised because why? I'll be trying to justify the situation. People that constantly call for nothing and don't leave a voice message. Like why are I hate when people call me constantly. First of all, I don't like talking on the phone. I like texting. And before I even talk on the phone, I'd rather see you in person. I'd rather see you in person because I hate to be on the phone with someone and I'm saying something. And I say a whole sentence in a mouthful and they're not saying anything. And I'm like, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? And then they probably say, huh? Did you hear me? Oh, what you say? Bye. Click. Bye. Because now... You're not respecting my time. You didn't respect anything that I said. And you called me. Not a time when I receive a phone. When, when I'm on the phone, someone called me. Anywho. Or you get the people that's hollering at the kids in the background. There's noise in the background. They're talking to someone else. Or they doing up 10 other things. That's why I like texting. Because I feel like I can get 20 million things done 
and text you at the same time. And I don't have to waste all my day. I feel like I'm wasting I can like I'm wasting so much time talking to you and you're not even respecting my time. Now the people that can hold the conversation is talking to me back and we just busting it up. Those people are fine. I will talk to you all day, but I got to get stuff done too. I can't get a lot of stuff done when I'm on the phone. I get distracted, but texting, I can set the phone down, respond to get text back, finish mopping the floor, doing whatever I got to do. And then at this time in my life, grown, working a full-time job and doing YouTube and doing whatever else, traveling, doing whatever else I got to do, I don't have time to talk on the phone, honestly. And some people hate me for it. I still love you. I'll talk to you when I can. We can text all day long. And you can come over whenever you want if I'm here. If I'm if I if I feel like being bothered. But call no text first. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say call first. Text me. But um yeah, or you have the people that just wait for you to say everything. Like why did why are we on the phone anyway? If I got if I'm doing all the talking. Or people that just don't hold just can't hold the conversation. So yeah. I, I I just I just I just don't like it. So what was that one? The people that um con and then, oh yeah that constantly call like you'll call me all the time or the people when we text and you, in the mid text you call me. Why are you calling me? Why or you say call me? I hate that for what for why for why why you can't text it? Why you can't text it? Now I'm thinking that you don't want receipts or something. Like why can't it be text? Like just text me. Or finish texting me. And then the people that keep on calling and don't leave a message. Because I feel as though if you don't leave a message, it wasn't that important. If you call someone constantly and not leaving a voice message, it can't be important. And then when I finally call you and ask you what, oh, I just wanted to talk to you. Don't do that. Don't do that. I had people do that plenty of times. And then one particular person did that so bad it scared me. I thought something was wrong and then inbox me. Please text, please um, call me, it's an emergency. I mean, please call me, it's important. When I tell you it wasn't important at all, I hate that. And people will do that just to get you on the phone because they know you hate talking on the phone. Don't do that shit. Excuse my French, but don't do it. And I vowed that I will talk on the phone more and be mindful after having people pass away. But then people try to take advantage of that and they run, they run with it. Like, don't do that because... I got that phone call once too much, once, once too many times that someone passed away and I just wasn't here for it. Like, well, I'm not going to, well, I wasn't here for it, but I mean, I answered the phone or they left a voice message, not saying that, but, and I, I answered it was that. So don't run with that and try to act like it's something so important just so I can answer it. Anywho. Um, people that lie on me. Oh my goodness. That go ahead and hand it for the people that lie for no reason. When people lie on me, I take that to heart. I hate it. I will call you right up and we going, we going, you going to get it. You going to get it. I had someone that do, I had someone do that to me and she got it. And she was like, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Like, I, don't you do that. Do not lie on me. Uh-uh, that's defamation of character. Do not do that. That's slander in my name. Do not lie on me. Like, that's the worst thing that you can do is lie on me. Don't ever do it. You're going to be on my bad side, and it's going to take a long time for you to get on my good side, and you don't want to be on my bad side. Trust me. Act, you better ask somebody about that, being on my bad side. I'm the nicest person you'll ever meet, and I'm going to always say that because I am until you do me wrong. Till you do right. I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> stop. And that's the same thing. People that put words in my mouth. Say it how I said it. Say it exactly how I said it. Do not put words in my mouth. Don't switch it around. Don't say nothing else. Don't put words in my mouth. Say it exactly how I said it. Please and thank you. Oh, I hate this. People that say no homo or I'm not gay before they do or say something that they consider is being gay. I hate that. If you're not gay, fine. If you're not, why are people saying you're not? If you're not, if you're not, if, either way, if you're not gay, I'm right. If you're not gay, that's all fine and dandy. You don't have to uh, scream it out because the people that's not gay. And if you are, who cares? I don't care if you're gay. But the people that got to say that all the time, watch them. Watch those people that got to say, 
uh, no homo or I'm not gay. You would never hear that come out my mouth. Ever, 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 ever. Because what I'm going, whatever I'm going to do, I'm just going to do it. Because that's just who I am. I don't have to say I, no homo or I'm not gay. That's your problem. That's your. That's a personal problem, baby. If you feel some type of way. And I'm not going to do anything that I feel like is going to be uncomfortable to someone else. Because I respect people's boundaries. Like, and I expect people to respect mine. So I wouldn't. And if you feel like you have to say that, why? I hate that. Like, I really do. You really hear get the guys that say it a lot. But when women say that, or anyone that says that, but guys, you know how guys are. But women, like, you don't have to say that, honey. You don't have to say that. Like, no homo, not gay. Okay. And then especially if I know you and you're saying it, okay. I know you're not gay, but do you have something to tell me? Who cares? And so what if you are? Like, ugh, that irks my soul. Like, I hate when people say that. And I think I, well, not think, I know. I never used the term no homo. Like, who says that? And, and are we even allowed to say that? Is that like one of those derogatory words like the other stuff? Like, you know, all the other words that I will not say? Yeah, can we say that? I don't like when people do that. Well, I'm not gay. Okay. Who cares? And if, especially if someone knows you know you're not gay, why say it? Oh, you got to in front of everybody so they won't think, oh, look what she just did. She must be gay. Bye, y'all. But yeah, that was the last one. I have lots more, but we're going to leave it at that. Let me know if y'all want more of my pet peeves. Next, um, next series that's coming is... Uh, train and bus chronicles, uh, public transportation chronicles. That's going to be the next one. I have to gather all that because I have some stuff and it's been more stuff, y'all. Rather than doing a story time, I would just make it a little series. Well, not little because I catch public transportation every damn day and there's always something. I'm kind of full. I'm going to say this one. I'm definitely going to say that one. I'm gonna eat these chips though. But I got my booster shot yesterday, y'all. I got my first COVID shot. Um I can't remember. What was it? Of course it was last year, but I can't remember the um date, the month and the date offhand. But got the first one, then I got the second one. But I'm just getting my booster. Because for some odd reason, I was waiting for them to call me, like, come and get your booster. They only do that for the second shot, though. I didn't know that. I just happened to, because I got my um shot done at Walmart. I got everything done at Walmart. Walmart. The shot, both of the shots, first and second. And so I was in Walmart yesterday. And I was like, Mom, you know what? I got to ask them about my booster. Ask them. I said, I had to make an appointment for my booster. She was like, no, you can go get it. You can get it done right now. And I was like, will it affect me going to work tomorrow? And she was like, no, she was like, then again, I can't say because everyone is different. So I just took a chance and my arm was just a little sore like each other time. The only difference is I got it on my left arm, which is the arm that I had my tattoo on. And I got both of them in my right arm the last time, which is crazy because I'm using my right arm. This is my hand that I use the most. And I sleep on this one. So that was the worst. I don't know why I did that before, but it was fine. Like, I don't feel any type of way. My arm was just sore. And thank God. Nothing happened, but I got my booster, y'all, so I'm fully, fully, fully vaccinated. <laughs> I hope that I don't have to get, um, we don't have to keep on getting them, because it's not like the flu shot, like, you don't have to keep on getting it every year, and I never got the flu shot, but, um, what was I going to say about the, uh, the booster? Oh, I asked them what are the, um, the side effects, or... The symptoms afterwards, and they said it's the same as the first and second one, so you shouldn't have any problem. So I was like, okay. And I didn't have to wait 15 minutes. You know how, like, the other ones, I don't know, depending on where you live at, but you have to wait 15 minutes to make sure you're okay. They said I was fine. Don't have to do it anymore. But anyway, y'all, that's it. Let me know. Y'all want more of this stuff and more mukbangs and all that stuff. I'm going to do more vlogs. So if y'all like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Hit that notification bell so you know when all my videos are coming out. Share this video so much good to say that I did another uh, episode of My Pet Peeves. And 
that I ate some Wawa hoagie. Oh, y'all know what? I didn't drink not one time. That's crazy because I usually can't eat without drinking something. That was that you could tell I was running my mouth. I didn't drink anything, but I sure made sure I was eating. And this is how much I got left. But yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. Do y'all relate to any of these pet peeves? And is any of these pet peeves yours? And somebody, each person that comment, let me know what's your pet peeve. And a pet peeve is basically because someone asked me before. A pet peeve is something that you don't like, something that you don't care for, something that grind your gears, something that's irking. A pet peeve is something that you would never, that you wouldn't do. Be, I guess because you don't like it, it's something that you basically hate, something that gets on your nerves, that irritates you basically. So yeah, leave me a comment, let me know how y'all like this video. Until next time, love you guys, y'all. Bye, my fashion dolls and guys. Bye, y'all.